Hi, thank you for coming. So uh, my name's Sean Roberts. I run the San Francisco user group with my two colleagues, uh, Lisa Marie Namphy and Rick Evans, who are not here, but, um, and these are my friends, ambassadors that represent other user groups from other areas. So we're gonna give you a community update on where the user groups are in, for OpenStack globally. Um, very quickly, each one of us just introduce ourselves. Yeah. Hello, my name is Marton Kish, and um, I'm doing the European region. I'm actually based in Hungary, Budapest, and we are running Europe together with Ervan and Christian. Hi, my name is Jason Kan. I'm um, running the OpenStack Korea user group uh, with uh, like uh, 10 or 12 people. <laughs> Um, yeah, nice to meet you, guys. Hi, nice to meet you. My name is Akihiro Hasegawa. I'm basically based in the Tokyo and also covering the Asian area with uh, other Asian ambassadors. And uh, in the Tokyo area, Japan area, <coughs> recently we are really focused on the ops uh, meetup or workshop because of the OpenStack user is uh, getting increased every year. At that time, we not only sharing the implementation information, but also the sharing the ops information also. Yes, thank you very much for coming. Hi, uh, my name is Erwan Galen. I'm running the French user group. Uh, I'm covering uh, Europe and uh, some, uh, some group in, uh, in Africa. Uh, hello, uh, I'm Akira Yoshiyama uh, from uh, Japan o uh, OpenStack User Group. Uh, uh, thanks for coming. Hello, uh, my name is Marcelo Jeder, and I am the OpenStack uh, ambassador in Latin America, and I have countries uh, in Latin America to uh, grow in user groups. Uh, my name is uh, Christian Behrendt, and um, I operate one of the user groups in, in Germany, in South Germany, and help with the organizer um, um, of the OpenStack Day in, in Germany as well. Okay, so i like to give a quick insight into the numbers. It seems to be very uh, interesting. That actually we have 86 user groups worldwide and those user groups are recognized on the group's community portal, and we have amazing numbers. So actually we have uh, 47,000 uh, members. So this is the actual situation. And uh, it is very interesting that you can see that North America is really leading the community, but I think it is a very normal uh, story here. And uh, Europe uh, is uh, competing with Asia. In, in the community numbers. And, and South America uh, generated a very nice growth during the last one year. And uh, some folks started to use OpenStack in Africa and we can see it on the numbers also. And if we are looking back uh, to the growth rate that happened since Vancouver, it seems really amazing. So we can see 37% uh, uh, growth average growth, and in some areas it is actually much, much higher. Okay, so the... <laughs> Sorry about that. So last summit we announced the official user groups programs, and now we uh, uh, permitted the 11 OpenStack user group is with the uh, official. Those the 11 uh, user groups already permitted as officials and uh, go to the next slide. And if you get the uh, official user groups, you can get the original robots for the each user group's members. And also the can help the some support from the OpenStack foundations. And uh, it clearly the be the official user groups, then uh, very easy to communicate to the, and helping the each region's user groups. And if you uh, not, you don't know about the official user group processes, please check our uh, webpage, groups.openstack.org, 
Uh, there is uh, some the, uh, script for how to be the official user group. There is a uh, very uh, brief steps. There are six steps here. And please check the, your status of that. And if you have any the questions, or uh, ask the, our ambassadors, or ask to Tom, Tom Fifield. <laughs> yes. And go to the next. So, who is to talk about the new user group? Yeah, actually, since Tokyo, since Tokyo, we had some new user groups approved. So we have a new user group actually in South Africa, and we have a brand new in Central Florida, and we have a very active one actually in Pakistan in Islamabad, and we had some restructure happened in in Germany. Maybe Christian can. So yes, we give a little insight about we um, started in, in Germany to, to approve uh, the existing user groups and uh, we had a good progress so we have now um, I think four official user groups in, in Germany and that's really uh, a good progress in, in restructuring the, the existing user groups yes And also, the, we announced the last summit again. And we uh, opened the speaker's bureau. Foundations opened the speaker bureaus. So everyone knows that this site itself. Please raise your hand if you know. OK, OK, good. Good man. And uh, in the, maybe the, this summit, if we do the, some the speakers' proposal, then automatically add the, this speakers' videos programs, I think, if you don't reject. <laughs> so you can find at the uh, speakers in the last summit or some other the cases already provided the information on this site. Uh, please access to the, this openstack.org community speakers page, and you can find out the correct person. For example, Please go to the next page. So this is Mark Korea. Maybe everybody knows. <laughs> and if you want to uh, need a, his speech in your local user groups, then just put in the contact mark and name of the organizer and the email and so on. Then the system automatically maybe send the offering to the is yeah, this correct? But, but do you think that is it's it so easy to get Mark on the board? I don't know. <laughs> it's at, up to him, maybe. And anyway, and this information also including the willing to the participating via the video conference or willing to travel. And uh, this information also uh, mentions uh, how to covering the travel <coughs> expense. And please check such kind of the part and find out the good speakers from here and invite them by yourself. Very uh, useful tools, I think. Do you have any other uh, extra comments for this from Martin? No? It's okay. <laughs> okay, please use this for finding out the good speakers. Yeah, okay. And uh, who is running a user group from this room? Yeah, raise your hands. And uh, yeah, I think it is a really useful tool from the foundation. And, and I know that everyone else who were not living in, the, uh, in San Francisco or in the Valley had those problems with finding speakers. And we use it twice to get to the And if you do not find uh, speakers in the website, do not hesitate to contact each of us in the regions because we have also contact. Uh, and uh, try to push more speakers to join uh, this uh, this program, but do not. But I know for uh, for few user groups, it's difficult to have a speaker for uh, for uh, uh, for uh, every month or every uh, for each uh, each meetup, each uh, meeting. So don't hesitate to contact us. Okay, and we are so. And some of us are also running OpenStack D events all around the world, and it all also gets some official branding and logos. Um, and yeah, OpenStack Days basically our goal with OpenStack Day was that we like to clone a little bit this summit to the local region because a lot of people simply cannot afford to visit uh, one week. Uh, 
uh, long event here. And uh, basically, we will run one in June 6 in Budapest, but uh, yeah, we have a calendar here, so, but uh, I think we are all around the world now, so. Uh, you missed, uh, we already did uh, OpenStack days in Korea in February. Uh, so OpenStack day uh, was, uh, uh, so Japan News Group started three years ago, and Korea News Group also followed Japan News Group to start it three years ago. That was just, uh, just uh, the regional event uh, each user group uh, is uh, having. And the foundation decided uh, to make that official brand from this year. So uh, in Korea, we had third OpenStack Day event, but in this year, it was official branded event from the foundation. Uh, so as you see that, uh, you can get a logo from foundation and a foundation help to uh, advertise uh, your OpenStack Day event in social and media. And also, so that's a big difference uh, between previous years of the OpenStack days and uh, this year's. Um, um, so having said that, uh, I have uh, all the materials I used for to run the OpenStack Day event in Korea this year, including uh, like a vector image for the banners and sponsorship prospectus documentation. So um, I'm willing to share uh, those materials uh, with community. So, um, I suggest if we have any kind of repository, maybe in GitHub, uh, to share those materials, um, I'm, I will be happy to uh, provide those uh, documents and uh, banners and other information you might want to uh, know. Uh, okay. Uh, about OpenStack Day, uh, the foundation has prepared uh, documentation to help you if you want to launch in your region uh, an OpenStack day. So uh, you can have few steps to prepare to, to um, if it's a sponsor sponsored event, uh, you will have to, uh, pu to, to create a public prospectus. So uh, so you, you will have lots of help if you have an idea uh, to, to launch this type of event on the uh, the foundation can help with funding uh, up to five thousand uh, dollars. So I think it's uh, it's really more easy now to run this type of event. I know in Asia uh, and uh, in Budapest uh, uh, it was the first uh, big event, but uh, but now yeah, there is uh, all this help of the foundation. Ambassador also can help for this uh, for this event. And. Please go to the next page. And uh, there is uh, this year's current dates. And uh, I have uh, personally the question, one question, because uh, OpenStack Day Mexico has uh, two days, <laughs> two separate days. Yes. <laughs> Maybe the uh, one of each of one is uh, some mistake. And please check it in <laughs> Marcel. <laughs> yeah, yeah maybe it can be two events. And so place. anyway, if in our case, if we start, uh, we are usually preparing the OpenStack Days event before the 10 months ago because we need a lot of the times to preparing the sponsors and the sessions and finding the venues, so on. And also, foundation's uh, resources limited. If you are started to the new OpenStack Day event, it's better to start in order. Be careful for your scheduling to managing such kind of things. And in this year, maybe June is European tour, almost. And July is Asian tour, and also the South America, US, right? S South America, right. And there are another the event is here, yes. If you are interested to join that, please check the uh, OpenStack Day's webpage, and also the contacting us and asking us. Yeah, and it is important to mention here that those events are really non-profit and uh, usually organized by the local community members and the local ecosystem players. Yeah, I think it really depends on the on the region and the develop. Uh, the region. Just repeat the question to, for the. Okay, so it, the question was whether we can run 
multiple events per year in the same same site. But I think it really depends on the region. So if you have a very strong and 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 huge community that requires two events per year, and you have a very strong ecosystem who can sponsor that event, then yeah, you can do it. But actually, I think for the Central European region. Uh, one event per year is, is more than enough, actually, because it, it means a lot of work. So, so it is not so easy to organize everything. It means usually 10 or six months of, of very hard work. W was your question partially around whether or not this is developer focused or just around users? Um, like I, I see that there are lots of events that happen around the uh, uh, June time frame, June, July. Uh, is it, I mean, is there a, re a specific reason for this? Or if I want to organize something more uh, in December, I will be the only OpenStack day that happens in December. Is it uh, an issue or? Yeah, I think it is, it is uh, really depends on the, schedule of the foundation staff. So if you like to get some, some foundation staff on board, then, then you need to do a very, very, um, very good planning. And, and for example, for, for the OpenStack Day Budapest, we decided to do it in June because, because uh, in October we will have a big event in Barcelona, a summit. So we don't like to overlap the two. So it, it doesn't matter. So last year, Japan and Korea did on February. And this year, uh, Korea did February and Japan is June. So it's up to you, up to your availability uh, uh, to do the event. Uh, but uh, from this year, the foundation will ask at the beginning of year uh, when uh, you are going to have OpenStack days. They, they just don't want to check uh, each user group, when each user group is hosting OpenStack days. Uh, so they're checking if there is any conflict or so they can make any uh, further uh, planning uh, from the foundation resources. So um, it's important to communicate with the other user groups and foundation, but it's up to you to decide when you can have the OpenStack Day event. Yeah, because what might be interesting if, uh, if uh, there are multiple OpenStack Days uh, happening in the same region, like Europe, for example, uh, in the same time frame, it may be a lot easier for some speakers, like yeah. maybe speakers from the foundation, to come in Europe during th two or three weeks and do multiple OpenStack days. Uh, that's interesting, I think. Uh, I think also is because uh, the, there are a party, uh, a birthday of OpenStack, and uh, is in July. So some, some groups uh, doing the, the event to commemorate the, the birthday in July. I think yeah. because this the most. One of the things we have tried to do, but unfortunately OzCon got moved up so far this year, is we tried to have the birthday parties happen before OzCon so we could actually help promote the birthday party at OzCon, but I think that be kind of became difficult since OzCon is just in a couple weeks. It's kind of um, so close to the conference. Um, did I say conference? I meant summit. Oh my god. Um, so uh, so I, I think that's kind of an outgrowth. and. Um, we're, we're still going to have in San Francisco the birthday party in um, July, but you know, yeah. it, it won't really be able to go into Oscon this year since it was months before. Okay, and uh, we will have an ambassadors working group session on Thursday. So I think we will discuss about the future plans there and what we plan to do, and uh, what are the plans of the foundation with this program. So if you have time, I suggest to visit that. It, it should be very interesting. And we'll be posting an Etherpad, just like the rest of their groups. Um, so if you want to look at the Etherpad afterwards, it will be posted just alongside the rest. If you don't get to join us and you want to see what we're talking about and what we're planning. Okay, and the question for the ambassadors. Um, does anyone have a, a good local story about his own region during the last year or last half year? Or happened anything important? I, I can talk uh, about uh, uh, South America. And uh, in the last years, you can 
back to the the growing the, the groups. Uh, please. Where? To the groups? Yes, uh, the growing percentage. Uh, yeah. And uh, we are uh, planning a lot of uh, meetups, online meetups, local meetups, and uh, we can see more uh, growing in the South America. Uh, so I think we we need to we can talk about this. Uh, it's important to do regular meetups uh, in our groups because uh, we can attract more users to to use it to learn more about uh, OpenStack. So I think we need to uh, do in other groups also. So once again, I listened to you, I really focused on the Ops Meetup or Ops Workshop. So if possible, I would like to do the such kind of the workshop or Meetup event for the each regions. Why you do we do the each region? Because uh, very easy to communicate each other. There is no so much big the, uh, time lags and the distance also. But uh, we need uh, much more the knowledges and experiences. As you know, the OpenStack itself is uh, like uh, Lego blocks, so people can choose uh, a lot of the types of the environment. In this case, maybe the operations um, problem is also the difference. So if we can uh, merging and uh, sharing the such kind of the information, we can reduce the uh, operations cost and we can give the much more the good functions or such kind of things to the upstream. So if you are interested to do the such kind of the activities, please ask us and uh, let do the such kind of the, keep doing the such kind of the activities. Thank you. Okay, um, we have 10 minutes left. So if you have any questions. We are happy to answer. Okay, no one? So, um, I have a question. So, um, maybe it's a little bit of a statement and a question. So, um, on the West Coast, um, and Ken Hughes not here right now, he's one of the uh, ambassador for the East Coast out of New York, um, of the United States. And um, so, but we on the West Coast have started organizing. Um, we're getting closer to being able to pool money and, um, and be able to pool speakers and try to coordinate time so we don't step on each other because um, there are some people that go back and forth. Um, so is anybody else thinking about maybe doing that, trying to coordinate maybe in a certain region or um, perhaps um, within a, a, well, just that. Has anybody else thought about that or interested in maybe talking to us about what we've done so far, what we're planning on doing? Yeah. <laughs> okay, so um, one, one of the ideas that we talked about last year, um, and unfortunately we haven't had a chance to do it, was to um, uh, create a sister city or a, um, a sister user group program where some of the areas like Silicon Valley usually have too many sponsors um, so if I wanted to, I could probably get a lot more money, and I've been actually pushing people away. But if I was able to, like, um, a user group that has a problem not getting sponsors, um, uh, you know, being able to fund them with a, a company in, in my area, that would be. So is that interesting to anybody here or anybody in the group and like to talk about that? Anybody interested? Yeah, I think it sounds great, but... As you know, the industry, it is really separated by the American region, maybe the EMEA region in Europe, and they are using very different funds to sponsor the local events. And I don't know how, how can this work in the real life or in practice. But I, I would be very, very happy to join to this kind of program anyway. So, um, what, so I'm now working for Walmart, um, Walmart Labs. So one of the first things I did is I, su I seeked out one of the guys in the finance department and said, hey, do you want to be my banker? So um, I haven't, I'm that close to getting them to agree. But um, assuming I can get them to agree, then essentially the idea is that um, they'll act as uh, accounts receivable for money coming in for um, OpenStack user group fund. And um, people will, I'll, I'll manage the, essentially the, the money of who 
has what in the fund, they'll just write the checks. And um, then it's essentially at that point, if I have a sister city, let's say like Vietnam, for example, and they, they need a sponsor um, to help some, run some events, I just get approval from the sponsors in my area to be able to source them some money. And um, my guy in the finance just writes some checks. Yes, so, so you're assuming that you're assuming that the companies that usually sponsor um, U.S. events, uh, U.S. meetups, would be interesting in sponsoring events uh, in another country. Um, yes, actually, I've spoken to a few of them. They are interested. Um, so, uh, much the same reason of um, getting involved in um, working with you know um, frenemies, you know companies that you're competitive with, but collaborating on code. It, some of them are like, oh yeah, why wouldn't I want to do that? Because um, five thousand dollars for a lot of these companies is like teeny tiny um, for sponsorship money. I mean, they're spending a lot more um, today you know, over this week. So, um, but five thousand dollars for a small user group can go really, really far. I mean, that would that would probably help a user yeah, group. Even go the all year. five hundred birthday support helped a lot for for different user groups to bo to bootstrap in the early days. Yeah, if, yeah, if exactly. you remember this time. Yep. Yep. So um, if anyone wants to talk to us about that, um, that idea, um, you can jump onto the Etherpad, um, talk to us afterwards, or um, just uh, you know, get, get to us through the normal methods to the, user, the, the group site on OpenStack. Um, so uh, yeah, that. So yes, sir. Some of you probably already know me. <laughs> um, I run the uh, the Manchester user group in the UK, which is obviously just arrived on that list of official user groups. Um, so one thing I did um, email um, Owen and Martin about was the, you know, we all use Meetup, basically, and Meetup has a limited um, interface for what logos you can upload on it. What's yeah. the and the logo that is is a square logo and there's nowhere to put it on Meetup. What's the chances of getting that logo reshaped into a Meetup friendly logo? Yeah, so I've received your request and uh, yeah, it's in, in progress. So excellent. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, guys. So uh, do you want to answer that from uh, the group's perspective or because I, I mean. I, I certainly use Meetup, and a lot of people do use Meetup, uh, but it is ultimately just a tool, um, and it's not even available all the way across the world, so in certain yeah, ways true, it's not even an option. Um, so I, I try very hard not to say we're holding Meetups, but say that we're holding user group meetings, because <laughs> um, it Meetup's just a tool. So um, I would love to extend Meetup to be more flexible and to do more things. Um, uh, Martin's been working with it quite a bit because he's he's been doing a lot of the work around the groups. So I my hope is that going into the future that we um, we still use these tools, but they're um, they're essentially read only, and the the group site becomes the the right. And then we can kind of get away from that. But um, so people would have a tendency to go to the group site and maybe just use Meetup for uh, managing the getting people together part. I mean, but I think. Sorry. Maybe that would solve your problem. I don't know. Yeah, still I mean, wouldn't it, solve the logo. Yeah, showing I, mean, up I correctly, understand what I understand what you're saying about Meetup. I mean, I would say from a user group perspective, you know, we get a hell of a lot of cross pollination from Meetup, which you know, Indeed. if we don't, yeah. if we decide we're going to use some totally other tool as the as the method for promoting user group meetings, then you know, I suspect that some of those folks who we get who just happen to go to a lot of Meetups. I mean, you know, Manchester, for example, has a very strong tech community and you know there's lots of people who are who are members of a lot of different meetups and you know so we get a lot of folks who maybe you know wouldn't have maybe come for the first time because they're interested in OpenStack and they just happen to see it on meetup.com yeah anyway meetup.com is a fantastic marketing ch channel from that aspect but from the other side it is a little bit a trap because it is not so trivial to move the members from that side to the yeah, group agreed. side agreed. because it is not it is not allowing to ask for for example the email address yeah so yeah, agreed. yeah yeah and and i wasn't suggesting we not use meetup because it is a very excellent 
way to attract people, um, especially in um, West Coast United States. It's used very, very heavily, yeah, yeah. and so that's why okay. it's become a, yeah. a verb now. People say, "Oh, I go do yeah. the, or it's become a noun." But anyway, um, so what I was suggesting is that um, what I'm hoping to get to is that uh, we could start using the group site um, as the Think the source of truth of information, and we distribute it throughout a bunch of different things, including Meetup and Facebook and and uh, Google Groups and all. And not only so we can get to more people, but also for um, so that uh, we don't get trapped, like you were saying. Yeah, actually, we are using the Groups Portal analytics features um, in in a daily basis, and I think it is the most important part of that portal that we can collect all those information and we are owning that data and we can run a different queries on that. So I think uh, it is a good topic for this Thursday meeting Yeah, and, and we can discuss those <laughs> there. Yeah, and we have, I guess, one minute left or something. I just want to mention in Korea, we, we are not using Meetup. Meetup's not popular in there. So I heard that's a great tool, but um, I just want to say uh, for other region of world, meetup is mean nothing, so we just need to care for about that. Okay, thank you for coming, and thank you for the ambassadors for their work. And I think we will meet in Barcelona, and we will present the updates. Thank you.